Hey guys, Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com. It's NFL week six, and we are talking Vikings, Bears. But before I get into the breakdown, like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to bring you free NFL and free college football picks all season long. All right, Vikings, Bears, interesting matchup here. Obviously, the biggest storyline in this game is the status of Justin Jefferson. We know he's out. We know he's on injured reserve with a hamstring injury. Um, a pretty big blow to the Vikings right there. Uh, and we've seen it impact this line um, down all the way past three. It looks like it's two and a half, you know, after the the injury news has sort of settled in. Now, what typically would skill position players like a receiver or a running back, even when it's a big time receiver and a, a running back, I, I tend to not put as much stock into that moving the number, as I think some other handicappers do. I kind of talked about this with the Browns when Nick Chubb was was hurt and ruled out and, you know, thinking that that wasn't going to be quite as impactful. I believe the Browns ended up going out and, and winning and covering the following week against the Titans. And, and I think that's how I would look at this one at this point. Like it would have to probably be Vikings or, not, or nothing for me, especially at the current number. Um, but I think what's going to determine whether I play the Vikings or not uh, is going to be the weather in this game. So this game's in Chicago, and you know the Vikings are a team that I still think there's a pretty good pass attack here. Talked about the Vikings and their ability to move the ball through the air a couple times. I think that their passing offense is legit. Now, obviously, they take a, a pretty big hit with Jefferson, but there's still some weapons. I still – trust Kirk Cousins against a defense like the Bears, which is is still one of the worst, you know, defensive teams in this league. Now, last week I cast with the Bears Thursday night football, but I like the Bears in that scenario because I knew I was getting a touchdown against a commander's team that I thought they could score against. And, and there was appeal to the fact that I thought the Bears could hang around. I, I didn't really expect them to win the game by 20, uh, but they did. And I think that that might have them a tad overvalued here. Because um, again, now it's it's a whole different story. You know, needing the Bears to hang within a touchdown last week, which obviously they were able to do and win. Now they basically need to win the game. I mean, yeah, you're getting you know two and a half points, but not really any key numbers. Chances are, if they're going to cover that number, they're probably going to need to win. And I, I don't know that I have a, a ton of faith in them doing so. Now, if the wind kind of plays a, a, a part in this game. And that's why I'll be kind of having my eye on the forecast here. Uh, there is wind in the forecast. If it's upwards of 20 miles an hour and it's going to you know, potentially impact the passing game of the Vikings negatively, that would, would offer more appeal to the Bears side, in my opinion. I still don't think I would jump in and, and take it where it is at two and a half. But if, if that were the case and you're into teasers and, and you want to you know, kind of do the whole teaser thing, two and a half up to eight and a half certainly kind of checks the boxes there with the Bears. Uh, if the wind and the weather and the elements are going to be less of a factor, then I have to lean toward the Vikings because, again, I just think that they'll still be able to move the ball against the Bears. And if the Vikings can move the ball in this game, I think they're going to have the upper hand. I don't love the fact that the Vikings come off of, of a loss to the Chiefs in the manner they did. Felt like they put a lot into that game. So if, to come up short, you know, maybe may create a little bit of a letdown spot for the Vikings. But again, I think you could you talk about the other side with the Bears coming in off of a 20-point win, maybe has them overvalued a little bit. And then it, it comes down to how you know many points that you you're gonna dock the Vikings for not having Jefferson. I I think the line is probably right, but now you're you're sort of created a, a, a kind of a bargain spot on the Vikings if you feel that they can still move the ball which barring any sort of elements, I fully expect them to move the ball against this Bears defense. So for me in this one, hasn't gotten, you know, hasn't made my client card yet. I'll have to see, you know, kind of how this plays out later in the week. But I do think at two and a half, there is, you know, some appeal to the Vikings there. And again, if this isn't going to be a game that's significantly impacted by the elements, I would expect the, Vi the Vikings to have the upper hand. Uh, so that's how I see Vikings Bears. For all my picks, head on over to Wager Talk. Uh, on my wager talk page, or follow me on Twitter at Top SI, where I've been giving out free picks all season. And on my page this weekend, anything for Saturday and Sunday, you can use the coupon code AT10 for $10 off of any best bet, any 5% play, any package that's up for the weekend. I've already got a couple plays locked in 
in college and I'll be putting NFL plays up as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And again, head on over to wagertalk.com. Follow me on Twitter and we'll keep bringing you the free picks all season long.